We are down to two men. And they, what the hell? And they're not going to stop. They are ready to go. They want to be champion more than anybody here. And now shots. More punches. More punches. More punches. We've already had two eliminations in the time of that match before the ultimate submission where there was absolutely no there were no points for either men so far. It's just showing you how long and classic that match was. And now hurt in the back. But he has to let go. And now punches. He's down. He's gonna go to the top. And a flying elbow and could this already be it? He throws him off the ropes. Trips him. Grabs him. Gets him in the back. On prayer! That can't be it! No, he picks him up. And a big GHG to the head there. And now Christian Cage. Ooh, going to a couple dirt, a little dirty tactic there. And oh my God, does not tap, but that's definitely gotta hurt the legs there. And he gives him a big DDT, and it looks like this match could be done. Ooh. Sam arm. he's, wait a minute, he jukes the ref, and then goes to the top, hits that frog splash, oh my god, one, two, we have a new champion, we have a new champion, his name is Chris Kim Cage, Christian Cage goes through three other men, eliminating two of them to become the first ever European champion. What a a big feat here. I mean, we have two champions. We have Chris Benoit, our newest champion, and now we have Christian Cage. We'll be back. I guess uh, we're going straight to another match here. Because here comes Road Warrior Hawk and Road Warrior Animal. The Road Warriors, Legion of Doom, call them whenever you may. But they have definitely been impressive here in ALW. As you remember, Animal lost to Mr. Um to the UFC man himself, Brock Lesnar, last week. So now we have these guys going back for what the rightfully theirs, the WWF Tag Team Championships. Um, it's going to be a ladder match. I, I, I don't know why there's no ladders there yet. And I don't know why this weird lighting's making it look like that. Those are, those are blue ropes, but... There's, those aren't blue loops, and look at here they come now. UFC MMA. Call them what you like. They say that they are better than pro wrestling. They say that pro wrestling is fake and dumb, and that UFC is definitely the way to go. I believe him. I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait for UFC Unleashed. Or in dispute, whatever. Can't wait for it anyways. But this would be a big match. And yes, we are going for the WWF Tag Team Tag Team Titles. Yes, another title match. I mean, seriously, let's go, man. We have another title to give away later tonight in the main event. And as I said, the WWF slash ALW Tag Team Championships are on the line. And we are underway. 
and you can see that they have they're wasting no time by going for uh, both guys and look at that hawk able to send Brock Lesnar out immediately and wait a minute oh my god the road warriors station of doom have definitely been taking advantage until Brock Lesnar gives a little cheap shot to road warrior hawk there let me tell you about that timeline quick about uh, the Legion of Doom they were a big tag team you know they were doing great and everything and then they just you know they were tired they were old guys but then sadly uh... ooh another big shot same shot there by Animal sadly Hawk passed away in 2003 then they got the worst wrestler in the world by the name of Heidenreich John Heidenreich. Now, uh, if you know Heidenreich, you know that he sucked and that he was just gay. And Brock Lesnar just fell off that ladder. And look at Animal overpowering him. Then Heidenreich and Animal split up because Heidenreich was too mean. Yeah, I know. But, anyways, then. You know, he was fired, he tried to become this guy named Road Warrior, and he was gay and boring, and Brock Lesnar just fell off again. Boring, he had like two matches, came off like biker gear, he looked gay, he didn't even wear the face paint anymore, he looked gay. And then he came back to this. And he came to ALW hoping to become tag champions once more, and now we are at this match. And a big shot there, and the uh, animal slams him down. What a match this has become to beat, and I will be right back. Because I found out that there's been an emergency in the back. I gotta go check it out, and continue watching the match, and we'll be right back. He's <laughs> his own partner. I'm not even gonna leave. This is, this is classical, just seeing this match. And it doesn't look like Ken Shamrock's gonna get anywhere. And he falls off once more. And I don't think mixed martial arts have ever tried to uh, do anything like this before because they are obviously not trained to be uh, champions. Because okay, I'm just like falling and everything. But a big spear by Lesnar. I hope they don't find out I just said that, or they probably beat me up pretty bad. And uh, once more, Ken Shamrock falls off. He doesn't understand that if you lean all too far, you're gonna fall off. And I will be right back for this match.
And we are back, and I'm sorry about that, but it looks like that this match is starting to become a, one, a crazy match. I mean, there has not been a... I don't think anyone's touched the bell yet. I'm pretty sure they have, but it's definitely been a crazy match. And a big S running STO. And what can I say? This has been a great pay-per-view CPV. You know, it doesn't, maybe it doesn't, you know, it's a great CPV for my first ever, for the first ever one. But look at this, he can't grab onto it. And he's still trying to grab onto it. And now look at this, Hawk's getting mad, and we were able to get that video, that was pretty funny. And he just jumps off and, uh, looks like a mental retard. And he just hit, they, that was probably one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. That was totally awkward. And now he's going up. And 